In the last 20 years, the ability of people to defend themselves through the use of firearms and the technology around it has just grown enormously. There's lots of amazing new technology in firearms, in ammunition, holster types, and optics, all kinds of great things. But one of the tools that's out there are weapon-mounted lasers. So in this video, I'd like to show you just a few ways that having weapon-mounted laser could really enhance your defensive capabilities. So the first area where the laser can really help you out is to develop a defensive draw. When we talk about a defensive draw, any way that you have to take the firearm from a place that it's holstered to being involved in the situation is that draw or deployment process. As you'll notice is that people have inefficient draws by waiting a really long time to get the muzzle itself oriented toward the target. With the laser, you can think of it as trying to reach out with your arm and put that touching of the arm on the target right away. My goal now is to go and say, yes, it's on that target in that rock position. So the moment the firearm came free from the holster, we're lined up on the target. Another critical element for handgun defense is developing something we call a combat or threat sight picture. The thing that you're engaging downrange is the thing that becomes hyper-focused in your vision. When we have that kind of hyper-focus, what ends up happening is that you'll start to see people that'll actually have the firearm underneath the sight line. So the way this works is I'm still gonna be lined up looking downrange, but I'm gonna actually keep the space where the laser is on clear in the vision. So I'm looking through the sights, but the area where the laser is becomes clear in our vision. And so all we're literally doing is training our brain to look with our eyes the same way it will when we go under high levels of lethal force stress. The next area in which laser can help build your defensive capabilities is to help you to condition proper retention shooting positions. Retention shooting positions are those positions whereby you're using the structure of your body to aim the firearm to the target downrange. This actually takes a significant amount of time and practice, but it is a hyper valuable skill for defenders as most firearm engagements happen at the ranges of feet, not the ranges of yards. With the laser, we can help to condition ourselves that when that firearm comes out and levels off, we actually come to the exact same position every single time. Why? Because we can actually see where the muzzle is based specifically upon the laser itself. Another element where lasers become a valuable tactical tool is what we call demarcation. What we mean by demarcation is that we mark off areas that our muzzle is moving. For defenders, this is actually useful in defending a hard point. So let's say, for example, you've gone, you're defending a position in your house. That line of the laser going down range is a massive deterrent to that threat coming in the house, basically saying, look, you literally, if you wanna walk into this space, you're gonna get shot. This is very clearly where I am. I'm telling you, you do not belong here. Weapon-mounted lasers are very good for deterrence. Deterrence is the ability to communicate to a threat that you will not be a victim, that you have the ability or capacity by which to be a lethal threat to that threat, and that they should instead decide to mentally give up and go somewhere else. Lasers are very hyper-connected to firearms use. So if all of a sudden that laser comes out at the same time the firearm comes out, it's pretty clear that you probably mean business, and that really enhances your ability to project out that you are a very dangerous tactical porcupine and they should go somewhere else. Another way in which a defensive laser can be really valuable to certain kinds of shooters is if that shooter has to have corrective lenses for seeing things that are close. One of the things that we tend to see, especially as shooters start to get older, is they'll need to have corrective lenses, especially things for close in ranges. When we start to see that, one of the problems we start to have is they'll start to wear bifocals or trifocals and what you'll end up seeing is they'll end up going up to do a draw and then they'll stick their head back to get the bifocal portion to be able to see the sight, otherwise they can't see it. This starts to change body position, it changes first shot on target time, all kinds of stuff. With the laser now is they can keep clear in their vision the laser downrange and bring the firearm to the line of their eyes. And even though it's blurry or double, they can't see it, they know they're building the exact same body position. Lasers are also valuable in defense in low light encounters. With low light encounters, one of the things that you have to think of is that coordinating flashlights and handguns together is an entire skill unto itself. By utilizing the laser in conjunction with the firearm, you already know the direction in which the muzzle is going. This also means though, if for example, you have less than effective night sights in the firearm, that laser now can compensate for the fact that the night sights either are not functioning, didn't get enough light before you had to deploy them, whatever the reason was. And you have more than one thing to line up to be able to get the target downrange. Don't think the laser somehow allows you to skip over those core defensive skills. They will not. Instead, the laser is designed to enhance those core skills and to be used as a tool that can speed up your ability to connect stimulus with effective defensive response. 
Whenever you get one of these tools, think to yourself, am I increasing capabilities and decreasing limitations or am I trying to cover up for something that I know I simply should work on? So make sure that when you go out and buy one of these tools, you find one that's most effective for you and for your firearm and its setup and it will help you be more effective with all of your defensive responses. For Viridian Weapon Tech, I'm Bo Dobozinski. Thanks for watching. This has been The Art of Defense, brought to you by Viridian Weapon Technologies.